Breaking new information in the murder of this local military veteran shot and killed at his home on the north side when he interrupted a burglary. The family of 50-year-old Kyle Simpson tells us he served in the Army for two decades. This man is now charged in Simpson's killing. Police announced the arrest of 19-year-old Malik Williams just two hours ago. Neighbors on the north side are shaken. He could have killed all of us or killed my husband in the yard. I'm sad. While the 19-year-old sits in jail, another man is being questioned in the murder of Army veteran Kyle Simpson. He was shot and killed in front of his home on Native Dancer Court near First Coast High School yesterday afternoon. Channel 4's Vic Michelucci spoke with police about their investigation, and Vic is joining us live from the home where Malik was arrested. Vic. And the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office SWAT team actually arrested Malik Williams here at his home off Tory Place, that's not too far from Edgewood Avenue. Now, this happened about 10.30 last night after the SWAT team and several detectives were able to find this home. As detectives got here in the area, they say they found that black 2010 Ford Explorer with those signature rims here in front of the home. It was not hidden. So one of the detectives, he performed surveillance. He actually saw Williams walk out of the home multiple times and get into that SUV. And the detective said that it appeared that he was removing something from the SUV. Now, they were able to track him to this address because they had very good surveillance video that showed that SUV as well as a clear picture of the license plate. So police were able to use that license plate number as well as information from an eyewitness, actually a mail carrier who was in the area at the time that knew the victim, 50-year-old Kyle Simpson. They were able to piece it all together and within a couple of hours, they came here to this home and that is when they made the arrest. Williams and several occupants of the house were uh, transported down to the police memorial building and interviewed. Uh, during Malik's interview, he confessed to committing the burglary and shooting Mr. Simpson. He also provided the name of the person that he said was with him last uh, yesterday. That supervisor with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office homicide team is not naming the second person right now. He says that man has not been charged with murder, but detectives are interviewing him to see if he is indeed also involved in this crime. Of course, we will keep you posted. In the meantime, Williams is behind bars at the Duval County Jail. He is being held without any bond. We're live on the north side. Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, the local station. Vic, did Williams have a criminal history, and what evidence do police have to work with? It's almost surprising that somebody accused of murder and breaking into a home, and in fact, a, a string of home burglaries, according to police, has no criminal history. I asked detectives several times this afternoon, and they say they've never arrested him here in Jacksonville. They never found any criminal history on his record anywhere in the United States, but they did find some evidence on him, Mary. They say they found a single live round, a 45 caliber bullet in his pocket as they arrested him and took him in for questioning. They did find two casings, two shell casings from bullets that were also 45 calibers at the scene of the crime. All right, Vic Michelucci reporting to us live. Thank you, Vic. That same black Ford SUV was seen by many neighbors on the north side yesterday, and burglaries were reported at homes on Dunn's Lake Drive and Magnolia Way. Simpson was murdered on Native Dancer Court. John of Force the Lee sat down with a woman who says a man fitting the description of Simpson's accused killer never made it into her home, but she is horrified by this crime. Heather? Tom, she says that she is devastated over all of this. She says this could have been her son or her husband who was in the driveway. She was able to catch all of this on security footage, and in it, you can see this guy has a gun in his hand. This is precisely why you should invest in security cameras. On the video, we saw the guy, he walks up with a hoodie on, dressed in dark clothes, face covered, plastic gloves and gun, looking through our window on the video. This homeowner is too afraid to show her face. She says yesterday morning, just before seven, she and her son were inside sleeping. Her husband stepped out to go to the gas station. When he got back, he stumbled upon this man. 
In the security video, you see this man unzip his hoodie and stash his gun and glove in his pocket. Then he rings the doorbell. She says the man turned to her husband and said he meant no harm and wondered if his grass needed to be cut. The neighbor across the street saw him and came outside and he asked my husband, hey, is everything okay? Is everything okay over there? My husband looked at him and he said, yeah, and the guy walked off. She says the man took off in the black SUV with no lights on. The neighbor had already called police. An officer showed up but quickly headed to a burglary just up the road. The homeowner says when she heard about a man being shot in his home, she had a feeling it was the same person. He could have killed all of us or killed my husband in the yard. It's sad. That's your family. Yeah. The most important thing to you. Yep. And when I saw the guy that got killed, I got even emotional. Now that homeowner tells me that she does not feel safe in her home right now, which is one reason why her and her husband went to a gun shop just the other yesterday, uh, last night after all of this happened to hopefully better protect themselves in the future in case this were to happen again. For now, we're live. Heather Lee, Channel 4, The Local Station.